Annie. Hey, Whit, um, have you thought about kind of what that moment will be like when you first tie it and then and then break it tomorrow? Um, I mean, not not really. Um, yeah, I, I don't. I, it's, I mean, I don't know. I hadn't really thought about it. It's it's going to be a a cool moment. Uh, something I'll be able to appreciate uh, down the road. But you know, I not looking to stop anytime soon. So when the day finally does come where I'll stop, then, then I guess I'll look back and, and reflect a little bit more on it. What does it mean to you to be able to go out there every single day and, and as for long, for as long as you have done it? Well, it's, it's a huge credit to um, Nick Kenny, Kyle Turner, Jeff Blum, Chris Delouche, um, Ryan Stoneberg and, and Louis, Louis Perez. Uh, our strength coaches and our, our athletic trainers, you know, for putting me in a position every day where I can go out there because uh, it's my job. It's my job to show to come up, come to the field every day, ready to play. And um, sometimes it's, it's not that easy. So we got a great support group that uh, does a fantastic job of, of getting all of us ready to go for, for each and every day. And so I couldn't have, um, made it nearly nearly this far without those guys. Uh, so, you know, it's a huge credit to them, and I, I was sure to to thank them properly today. Todd Lebo. Hey, Witt. I know, you know, I don't want to go back to old, old too old of stuff, but you didn't get to be on the opening roster, opening day roster for a couple of years. Where there were points, even when you got to the major leagues, where you're like, I mean, they're not going to put me in the lineup for five days in a row, much less 420 days in a row. I know you don't like to look back too much, but if you could just kind of look back a little bit for us on when you first got up and just trying to establish yourself to be a major league baseball player in context with this streak. Yeah, it's a, it's, it's, it's a process that almost every major leaguer has to go through, especially one that, you know, wasn't a, a top prospect you know, per se, and, and, and wasn't, um, you know, didn't really know that the big leagues was going to be in my future. I always had confidence in myself that I could play at this level, but I wasn't sure if I'd ever get the opportunity to. Um, and then I did, and, and then it, it kind of got, you know, taken back away, and then I had to earn that spot again. And um, there was just a constant, you know, back and forth there for a little while. Um, of me trying to prove myself as a player. Um, but, you know, it's, it's something that everybody goes through. You, you try to make, make it to the big leagues. And then when you get to the big leagues, it's even harder to stay here than it is to get here. And so I, I knew that going in, I'm fortunate to, to have a, a baseball family. Uh, my dad played pro ball and, and that was always a mantra that, that he said to me, you know, it's easy to, it's not easy. It's, it's hard to get to the big leagues. It's harder to stay here. And, um, you know, once I finally, you know, jumped that last hurdle and became uh, an, an everyday guy, I guess you could say, um, yeah, I just, uh, I don't ever really want to come here and take a day off. You know, I don't want to sit out. There's, it's been a lot, it was a long time for me to get here. And I know it's a short window of being up here. And so I want to uh, cherish and enjoy every day and go out and play every game. Off the streak, uh, did you happen to watch the, the Field of Dreams game last night? And if, if so, what would you think of that? Would you like to have a Royals game up there someday? I'd love to. Yeah, I'd love to. Um, we were on our way home from Payne's Valley on our on our uh, little tour bus that didn't have the Fox channel on our on our TV. So uh, guys were pretty exhausted from the day. We were, we were Most of us were, were passed out on the tour bus. So, no, but we caught highlights of it. It looked like a – it will be did a fantastic job with it, put it on, and, and it looked like an incredible atmosphere. And it's definitely something that I think, you know, we uh, we should be a part of one year. Karen. Um, we're just getting back to just the way you've been able to be in games. You are starting to set all kinds of records. I mean, the, the streak for stolen bases. Is there something that you're aiming for? Do you look for 
different things that, um, you know, is there another record you're going after that is important to you? I want to win a championship. It's really what it comes down to. And I'm, you know, I go out to play every day to, to try to help us win. And, and, you know, hopefully one year, you know, we can put it together where we win enough games, we can compete for a championship. Uh, that's all it comes down to. And, and that's why I play this game and, um, cool things like this happen along the way. That's, that's great. I'll appreciate them when they happen and probably even more so when my career is done. But for right now, the goal is to win a championship and um, we got to do a better job of, of getting to that point. But, uh, you know, we're working and, and, and we feel like we're progressing. So, um, I mean, that's the goal. There's no other record or streak that, that I'm trying to do every day. I'm just trying to show up and be ready to play, play hard and uh, help us win. Do you feel that you appreciate things more because it took so long to get out of the minors? And then once you were here, you had to have so many different gloves for so many different positions to show that you were versatile. And you took a road that probably other people might have given up along the way, but you didn't. So do you feel that some of that determination and fire and appreciation comes from the road you took to get here? Oh, probably. Yeah, I mean, probably there's probably some some of that 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 fuels uh, my fire. Um, I got a lot of things that that fuel my fire, but you know the main thing is coming here and trying to win a championship. Like I like I said before, but um, yeah, I mean that's just a log log for the fire. The fact that it took me the time it did to get here, um, and once I got here, I realized how great it was to be a big leaguer, and I never wanted to go back to the minor leagues, you know, that's, that's a, that's a big part of it. So, um, yeah, I mean, uh, that's, that's definitely part of it. It's not all of it, but it's definitely part of it. And lastly, just about the field of dreams was, I know it was a 1989 movie, so it's an old movie, but was that a movie that you had seen somewhere along the line or a storyline? Um, you know, it was so special to watch last night and the game was so great and all the home runs going into the cornfield. I mean, it was amazing. But is there something about that storyline or movie that you, you know, that you like that you think is kind of special for baseball to jump on? Um, I know what you said a minute ago, you guys didn't get to see it, but were you familiar with the movie and the storyline? Yeah, I mean, I think everybody's seen the movie. At least that's that's uh, got some sort of tie with baseball. So uh, seen the movie and uh, yeah, it's just it's, it's cool to see something like that, I guess, replicated um, in, in real life. With, with real baseball players, a real game, a real game. So, so that was cool to see. Thank you so much. Lynn. Hey, Whit, um, you, you touched on this a little bit. I mean, think about just the, the idea of, you know, the, the path to get to the majors. I think a lot of people, or maybe some people assume that because of that, that's contributed to your wanting to be in the lineup every day. Is that, um, I guess, is that, correct or is there more to it than that because i think it's easy for people to say well you know because it took so long so long and you know had the path you did that's why you don't want to come out of the lineup um but i don't know if that's really the way you look at it well i mean who wants to come out of the lineup you know i i don't i don't really understand people's fascination with off days with with giving guys a day off it's i i i've never understood that if you feel like you if you unless you've got some something nagging you or you know, you, you're a catcher playing a day game after a night game. I can understand. But besides that, I mean, I, I've just never understood the fascination with giving guys a day. Um, it's just never been something that has I've understood. I mean, why would you ever want to come out of the lineup? And if, if you're here to play baseball, don't you want to play baseball and not watch it? You can watch it when you're not playing. And so I, I, I don't know. I mean, it's not my job to put me in the lineup, but – I'm coming to the field every day and expecting to be in the lineup and expecting to play. And until someone says, no, you're not playing today, I have no interest in saying, nah, I just, I need a day. I, I just don't understand that. That makes no sense to me. Pete and then Greg. Hey, Mike talked a little bit about the, the, the testing that goes on, physical testing after a game. Are you aware that, you know, it's possible you don't, do well in that portion that you might be getting a day off the next day? The minute that the, that physical testing tells me I can't hit a slider, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll believe it a little bit, but 
is as long as as long as I can show up and put the barrel on the ball and steal a base and run down a ball, track a ball, throw a ball first. I mean, they can test all they want. I don't really care. <laughs> and I wanted to pivot for a second too. Fans have really gotten a kick out of your Twitter feed, particularly some of the photos you've posted of the teammates. Uh, where are you getting those pictures of Brady? I can't. I mean, I can't reveal my sources. <laughs> so I've got plenty. I got plenty of ammo. So Brady can try to be cute all he wants and, and chirp at me online, but it's not going to work out too well for him. Thanks, Wick. And Greg, let's wrap it up. Hey, Wood, I'm wondering if there was anything uh, nagging you to a point where when you woke up in the morning, you wondered if you'd be able to answer the bell at the first pitch. I mean, pick one. <laughs> I, I, went, I went a week last year where I couldn't throw a baseball. I was playing center and dove for a ball in Cincinnati and uh, landed on my shoulder. thought I had messed something up. I felt a pull on my shoulder that I really hadn't felt before that – uh, it concerned me, and um, I was up to hit the next inning, grabbed a bat kind of gingerly and went on deck and could swing fine. I was like, okay, well, it's not so bad. And then went the next inning to play catch uh, in between innings and, and couldn't throw it to the right fielder. So um was a little concerned, but, you know, I was playing outfield at the time, and I told him, you know, I, I can hit fine, I can run, I can do everything, I just I can't throw. So if we're in need of a – no, not that I'm going to throw out a ton of guys from the outfield. You don't, I think there's something like, I forget the percentage, but it's something like 7% of throws from the outfield, you know, result in outs. So um, they're like, yeah, you know, we're not concerned with you throwing anybody out as long as you can go get it and hit. You're in there. Like, Great. And then earlier this year, I fouled a ball square off the top of my back foot uh, in Oakland and uh, couldn't, couldn't get out of bed the next morning, couldn't walk, couldn't put any pressure on it. And uh, got to the field, got some treatment done, wrapped it up, took some medicine and, and we were okay to go. So again, it's, it's not my call to put me in the, in the, in the lineup in the game, but I'm going to prepare every day. Like, like I'm playing. And until they tell me, no, you're not playing today, I'll, I'll be ready to go. So, but there's been, there's been a number of times uh, where I've, was questioning whether or not I could play. Um, but after, like I said, the, or I credited our training staff earlier. They do an incredible job getting guys ready for the game. And um, if, I, if I ever felt like I was jeopardizing our team's chances of going out there and, and winning, I would definitely say something. But nothing's, knock on wood, has been um, that extreme. All right, everybody good? Thank you, Wood. Cool. Thanks, guys.